Sienna May, a name that's currently trending online, and the things being said about her have people she's associated with within the last year deactivating their accounts. Things are not looking good, and I'm going to break down how a famous TikTok couple went from this to this. My name is being slandered and dragged through the mud. I wanted to share what I went through with Sienna and my side of the story. Jack Wright and Sienna May started posting TikToks together in October of 2020. The two convinced social media they were a couple as most of their videos showed them cuddling, kissing, and being really cute together. People adored them and together they grew their individual followings and both have millions of followers. Over time, their posts started to lessen and in May of last year, one of Jack's friends, Mason Rizzo, posted a screenshot of a notes app that took people by surprise. He accused Sienna of Jack. It was posted on Twitter and read, Jack and James have been my best friends since kindergarten. I struggle with seeing a girl getting praised after telling my best friend to himself and him numerous times after he set boundaries and then repeatedly wonder why he doesn't like you back. She also has a history of verbally people in high school and in LA. She prioritizes the growth of her platform rather than the positive message she represents herself as. Followers should not be an excuse to get away with behavior. You guys all deserve to know the truth about her. Jack's twin brother, James Wright, initially retweeted Mason's tweet, adding in the comments, this is why I couldn't just let it go and stay out of it. Sienna made a statement via Instagram saying, friends fight and relationships sometimes change, but allegations of a criminal act are not to be thrown around loosely. Making an untrue claim is never okay. I'm beyond saddened by the situation. In order for us all to move forward, I will be taking this offline with Jack. Thank you to all who have reached out with love and concern. And this did not go over well. She ended up posting a video titled Addressing False Allegations, where in this video, she firmly states she did not do anything that she was accused of. Sienna says this is not an apology video. This is a statement claiming she has nothing to apologize for and saying the allegations made against her are false. Sienna's main point is that she's only 17 years old and that throughout their nine month long relationship that was never confirmed officially, Jack and her were never intimate with each other. It was real online and then it was sometimes real offline and sometimes it wasn't, which was so misleading and honestly just such a mental mind for me. I was misled and played by him in a relationship that wasn't defined because of him. He never defined the relationship because it was beneficial for him to keep it undefined. And that was a mental game for me because it left me second guessing whether or not there was hope for the future. I never knew and I will never know if he truly loved me even though he told me he did, all I can say is that I was in love with him. She was upset with Jack for allowing those tweets to be made, saying they all know what is being said isn't true. She then says that Jack was but by a different girl, not her. And she also adds that at this gathering where he was by a different girl, she wasn't even there that night. Jack, I'm so sorry that I have to do this to you and I have to out you like this. And I never, ever, ever would have done this to you if it didn't get to the low point that it did where my name was literally being slandered left and right. And I'm sorry, but for the one time, I have to protect myself before I protect you. I was trying to be there for the both of us and trying to keep your name and your personal business out of it. But you didn't keep my personal business out of it knowing damn well that your friends were gonna post those tweets. And I'm sorry, but you never no, I did not you. We both know what happened and we both know who it was and we both know that I was not at that gathering that night. I would also like to add that in that video, Sienna said that she was 17 at the time she was when she made this video last year, but recently, a couple days ago, she just turned 18 years old. Now, later on, after she posted this video, Jack released a statement on his Instagram that read, while I love sharing my life with all of you, some parts are deeply personal and I have been hesitant to share for my own emotional and mental well-being. But I will say this, a serious matter that has real consequences. Mason and James' only intention was to protect me with the truth, and I really value their enormous support through this extremely difficult time. I truly encourage my childhood friend, Sienna, to get the support and help that she needs. I don't want to tear anyone down and only wish healing for everyone involved. I want to thank all of you who have reached out with your love, support, and kindness. I'm forever grateful. Later, a video was then posted online by Lachlan Hanman, where he claimed he had footage of Sienna May Jack Wright. Sienna, in response to this, then made a video titled Addressing False Allegations 2, where she broke down this video and defended herself and denied the allegations for a second time. 
and I am a victim of continual attempts to cancel me and slander my name with false claims. It will not work. I'm here to clear things up and provide all sides of the story. Sienna claimed that it was normal for her and Jack to kiss one another for videos and in private sometimes. She does admit that this video did look weird, but says it was edited in a way to purposely make her look bad. These two clips look terrible edited together, but that is the point. They are edited together. After this, it was quite silent. No further mentions of the situation were made from either side, although Sienna's comment section on social media reminded her of it constantly. She still hung out with influencers, did brand deals, and etc. But one deal she seemed to be cut out of was a Netflix deal. Sienna and Jack were also members of the Hype House and were supposed to be heavily featured in the Netflix show, but that was changed. And people believe it's because of the situation. No mentions of what happened between them were made in any of the episodes of the Hype House show on Netflix, and it's seemed like they tried to cut Sienna out of the show as much as they could because people knew she was in those scenes that they had filmed, but she was barely seen in the show. At best, she was in the background for like a second. Once the show was made public, Jack posted a TikTok that got the conversation started again. He said, can't stay quiet anymore, especially when other guys in LA told me what she did to them as well. I'm done being gaslighted and silenced. Y'all deserve to know. Please give me a little more time, but please know that I've had love and support through all all of this from family, friends, and all of you online. And yesterday he posted a video titled, What Sienna May Did to Me. Jack Wright accused Sienna May of amongst so much more in this video. He said her accusations of using her for clout and all of that was lies. And he was gaslit in the videos she made about him, especially when she said things like, why didn't you say anything? He got emotional and shared a TikTok of someone directly talking to Sienna, saying that this perfectly explains the situation. You did a bad thing and I know you're trying to write it in every way you can because of the account that you have and the following that you have and the life that you're currently living. But I need you to just do us all a favor and admit what you did was wrong. I don't care how touchy-feely your relationship was prior to or after that moment, but just know that he did not speak up and he did not act any different because he knew a society would be against him as it is. And now that everybody's seen the truth, you just attacked in a way that is supposed to be an apology or a righting the wrong. What you're doing is manipulating right now. Any sane person knows that they wouldn't have to go on multiple platforms to post something like this and they wouldn't be getting angry in the videos that are supposed to be addressing and apologizing. I know you've got a lot to lose and I know you've got a lot to live for, but here's the truth. You getting worked up because people are trying to get the truth out of you does not make it right to get in a video. Just know that the truth will prevail and your lies will come out. He says he knew the truth and she knows what she did to him and that they both knew they were just friends and they had fun making videos together, but it was just friends, just friends. I just want to clarify that we both knew that we were just friends. She was seeing and talking to other guys in LA all the time and I, I just thought of her as a good friend. We were making videos, we were making dance trends, we had fun. It was just strictly friends and we both knew that. He explains that things did take a turn and she crossed boundaries that he had set. He said that he was so glad that they have evidence of this and says that Sienna apologized to him once she knew that there was video evidence of this and that she said she was going to seek therapy and work on boundaries. He said there were times where she would get jealous if he was talking to other girls, but yet she was hanging out with other guys in LA. He said she was constantly coming over to his house, breaking in, and he would wake up and she would just be there in his bed touching him. I hated it. I hated that touch. I hated any intimacy with her because I knew we were just friends. I didn't want that from her. And especially with like the past couple things she did, I wouldn't, I didn't want nothing, to, I didn't want anything to do with that. She would constantly come to my house, remember my door codes. It, like it got to the point where I had to like start screaming at her to like get out of my house because I was so sick of her just like breaking into my house. I would wake up and see her car just sitting outside at like two in the morning. She would break into my house and when I was sound asleep, she'd come into my room. He said he got used to it, it became a regular thing, and he was stuck in this manipulative cycle of her pretending to care about him, and then him being really vulnerable, and then her taking advantage of that, and says that she had this control over him, and he was basically stuck. He shows messages that he received from other men who allegedly experienced the same thing with Sienna, and said that he had permission to post these on their behalf, and says that he doesn't want this to happen to other men in the future. He also wanted to express that he didn't stay silent these last few months. He did talk to counselors 
friends and family about this and he doesn't think he'll ever be the same after Sienna. He does get emotional again talking about people taking advantage of good people and he says that he has learned how to be more bold through all of this and finally say no and know that it's right to speak out. The nice people that like let people walk all over them and that was me like I let everyone just walk all over me no matter what like I would do anything for anyone and I think that's one of the things she gave me was I learned how to be more bold and um, finally say no. He says he wants to be the person who shows others that it's okay to speak out and talk about this and that you won't be known for this. You will get through it. This is just an obstacle and it sucks. But in his situation, he's learned so much from coming out and speaking about this and that he's grown. He says he doesn't know if Sienna will ever be sorry or admit to what she did, but he doesn't want anybody to ever experience her doing this, and he encourages others who have experienced anything like this to come out and speak out. After Jack's video was posted, Sienna's name started trending on Twitter, and people who have associated with her in the last year were getting called out for having ignored allegations and still being friendly with her. People like Tana Mojo and Summer McKean are two of the people that have been named who've been seen hanging out with Sienna still, and Summer McKean deactivated her social media after all of this started trending yesterday. Sienna has yet to speak on Jack's video as of right now, and Jack is receiving loads of support and lots of apologies from people who said they're sorry he wasn't taken seriously when his friends came forward nearly a year ago. And that's pretty much all that has come out as of right now, the entirety of the situation, and pretty much how we got to where we are right now. I definitely will keep you guys updated on further information if more becomes available, and I will also be leaving a link to rain.org in the description of this video. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye guys.